Good morning, everybody, and welcome to another episode of The Dong Report, where I give out my favorite MLB home run picks of the day. As for today, Tuesday, September 26th, I have three home run picks for you guys to tail before we can get into today's picks, we first need to do a recap from yesterday, which unfortunately was not one of our good days. I only had two picks on yesterday's slate because I didn't love the slate, and that came to fruition as both players I chose did not hit a home run. We end the day 0 for 2, down 2 units. That brings our total profit on the Dongy Port season to date to up 71.65 units, which is obviously still very good. Never ha never love to have a day where you don't get any right, but being up over 70 units is incredible. 12.26% ROI. Again, I got three for today. Would appreciate it for those of you who are new to my channel. If you could subscribe, it helps me out a ton. If you are a returning viewer, welcome back. I appreciate you. Like the video, comment, all that stuff helps me out as well. And let's chat dongs. So the first play that we are locking in is in the Rangers versus Angels game. And we are taking Corey Seager to hit a home run. This is at plus 310 odds at Fandle. Now it's kind of been a little bit of an interesting give and take with Corey Seager. I had him on the Dong Report on, sa on uh, Saturday. He did not hit one. He did hit one Friday. He did hit one Sunday. I had him on the Dong Report yesterday. He did not hit one. So hopefully we can get Seager on the right night. I will say Seager has been a staple in the Dong Report, and he's come through us many times before. So we're not mad at him yet, just a little bit disappointed, but hopefully he can uh, redeem himself for tonight. It is kind of interesting. Uh, we had him, as I mentioned, obviously yesterday. And despite not hitting a home run yesterday, he actually has worse odds to hit one today. And when I say worse odds, I mean lower payout, right? More likely to hit one, which I think is kind of funny. But regardless, a lot of the notes that I uh, had in yesterday's episode still hold true today. If you missed it, I can go through them now. Sticker, just an incredible player. Despite missing six weeks of action, he still has 33 home runs on the year. And unsurprisingly, if you look at him from an advanced perspective as well, looking at advanced stats, he looks pretty good as well. The two stats that I look at are ISO rate and barrel rate. ISO rate stands for isolated power. Legitimately just measures how much power a batter has. A barrel rate measures how well the batter uh, makes solid contact, hits the barrel of the bat when they make contact. With my logic being, if you hit for solid contact and you hit for a lot of power, the home runs are probably going to come. And that bears itself out over time. And that's kind of the main two stats I look at when it comes to home runs. So with that in mind, ISO rate. He has an ISO rate of 30.9%. For ISO rate, anything 25% and above is considered excellent. It's the highest stat, the highest value that Fangraphs gives. Excellent ISO rate. His barrel rate is 15.8%. That is also in the excellent category. Anything 15% and above is considered excellent. That's also the highest value, the highest stat that they give on Fangraphs. So He's at the top in both ISO rate and barrel rate, which I love. For this specific matchup against the Angels, he's going up against Reed Detmers. And the source I use for this one is Ballpark Pal. They list this as an extreme advantage in favor of Corey Seager, which I found kind of interesting because Reed Detmers is a left-handed pitcher and Seager is better against right-handed pitching than he is against lefties. But Ballpark Pal has gotten me this far and I trust that uh, their data is correct and that this is an extreme advantage for Seager. And Seager's been playing well recently as well. He's got an ISO rate in the past month of 30.2%. In the past two weeks, his ISO rate is 26.9%. Both excellent. So confident that he is going into right yesterday's and Saturday's wrongs in MASH 1 for us tonight as our first play. Next up in the Diamondbacks versus White Sox game, give me Luis Robert Jr. to hit a home run. This is at plus 390 odds at FanDuel. Similar to Corey Seager, Luis Robert Jr. has been a staple on the Dong Report as well. He's come through for us many times, including one of the nights that I went three for three. Luis Robert was on it, and we also had him uh, just this past Saturday. He matched one for us as well. Confident he's going to continue his hot streak on the Dong Report. For this game at White Sox Stadium, the weather is pretty juicy. It's a positive weather game four home runs to be hit. Obviously, that is great for us. And overall, if you look at the entire year, Luis is having a really, really good year. He's got 38 total home runs on the year. His ISO rate is 27.8%. His barrel rate is 15.2%. So similar to Corey Seager, 
Uh, he's excellent in both categories, which I love. Now, Robert Jr. did have a little bit of a lull in the past month, but he seems to be coming out of that. He's got three home runs in his past six games. And if you look at his ISO rate in the past seven days alone, which I understand seven days is a small sample size, but sometimes that's more reflective in baseball than anything else because baseball is such a weird uh, season, such a long season. People go through waves. In the past seven days, Luis Robert Jr. has an ISO rate of 50%, which is ridiculous. And then lastly, pitching for the Diamondbacks is Zach Davies. That guy stinks. Robert Jr. should be able to mash one for us, cashing our second play of the evening. And last up, our third and final pick for today, we're taking Julio Rodriguez to hit a home run. That is at plus 220 odds at FanDuel. So also similar to Corey Seager, we went with Julio Rodriguez yesterday. He did not come through for us, obviously. It's also kind of funny. Uh, Julio is similar to Corey Seager in that he didn't hit a home run yesterday, yet his odds are much worse today than they were yesterday. And again, when I say worse, I mean it's a lower payout, which is the sportsbook telling us that he's more likely to hit one. 220 is pretty low. Admittedly, it's, it's lower than I like to go, but he's still positive expected value on odds jam at plus 220 odds. So I actually kind of feel the opposite. When a player is this likely to hit a home run and it's still a positive expected value play, I think there's a lot of value in that. So I love going with Julio today. Ballpark pal, another game in which the uh, batter has the extreme advantage over the pitcher, which Julio should have for today. Christian Javier is pitching for the Astros. He's having a pretty bad year. Julio should definitely be able to have success against him. Now, Julio is a little bit over a month removed from that ridiculous stretch that he went on in the middle of August when I think he went 17 straight at-bats with a hit, which is crazy. He's not quite playing at that same level, but he's still been playing mostly fine in the past month or so. He's got one home run in his last 10 games, which isn't great. But if you look at his ISO rate in the past month, we're talking 35.5%. That number is very good. We are confident that uh, Julio Rodriguez is going to mash one for us tonight, cashing our third and final pick for this evening. I put one unit on all three of them individually. I put about five bucks on a parlay of all three. If we just get one to hit a home run, we will be profitable. If we get all three to hit a home run, we will be rich. So let's hope for that. And that's all I got for you guys. So appreciate everybody for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and have a good one.